Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry if there's going to be some noises of traffic going by, but today we are in my car because I'm doing something that's super fun and I feel like really old school on my channel. I am going to go thrifting and I'm taking you along with me. I haven't really ventured out into my community yet to find thrift stores and areas where I can buy puzzles in person. So my goal today is to find some places nearby that I can buy puzzles. Now, the thing I've had troubles with in the past when I go thrifting it's just I buy a bunch of puzzles that are cheap but not necessarily that I would do so I may be pretty picky about which ones I actually purchase so hopefully I can find some good deals but in general I'm just excited to go out and explore I do have some cash on hand so I know when I run out of money and if this video is super long of me shopping I may do a second part where it's the haul of the items that I bought so I'm not sure how it's going to turn out yet it really depends on how well this trip goes, but wish me luck. I'm excited and I hope you enjoy this video. All right, so I just got to the first place and I just wanted to let you know before we go in there, I'm not going to share all of the locations of these places because it's a little too close for home for my comfort. So these are all like little mom and pop thrift stores that are right nearby. But once I get a little bit further out, maybe I'll, I'm just, I'll share some of like the bigger ones. But if I can find any of the puzzles that I buy today online, I'll link them down below in case you just really want to purchase them new. Um, but yeah, let's get going. Show me life, show me love. Make a change, time is up. We can wait for better days, but the days won't come. Show me life, show me love, show me life, show me love, make a change, time is up, we can wait for better days, but the days won't come, show me life, show me love, this is all we got, show me life, show me love, this is all we got, show me love, show me love. super successful that had a huge range prices i thought were affordable but there was another shopper who told me that they often have missing pieces at this location so i only got three one was also really nice we chatted at the end and i'm really happy to have found this place and actually have gone in i've driven by it a few times and it's super close to home so this may be a dangerous shop but at least they're good pricing let's go to the next thrift store i feel like i started off with a bang hopefully I have just as much luck at the next place. So in this one, they don't have nearly as much variety and prices are more expensive so I think this is a no. But I know you will turn it around. Oh this is all we got and I know you'll make a stay get into fears and lose your way. Stop number two was actually successful. I got two items. At first I was a little bit hesitant because there's an area of a few puzzles over near the kids stuff and a Ravensburger was like $12 and I was like, mm. but then I turned a corner and they had a ton of puzzles for like three to $5. So that was awesome. I found two that I liked and purchased and let's go on to place number three. Well, we were bound to get a dud. Shop number three did not quite work out. I, one, forgot to bring my phone in so I couldn't show you. It was more vintage than thrift store, which is fine, but I didn't quite understand their pricing though when it came to the puzzles. There's, a, there's only like maybe five puzzles there. And they had like Dollar Tree ones for like $5. And then they had like a couple okay ones, but it was overpriced and I don't know. They just weren't ones that I wanted. So on to shop number four. We can wait for better days, but the days won't come. Show me love. Show me love. Another successful trip. 
I got four puzzles of that one. There's a ton to choose from. I was really picky, and so I feel like I did well at Restraint. I didn't realize that Value Village, and I think a few of you have mentioned it in the past, that it's the same as the Savers that I used to go to. So apparently it is the same company because they have all the same stuff, but also my Savers card and phone number worked here so that's cool so next up i did stop at goodwill which did not have very good reviews so i'm not expecting much but i had to try it out just because it's like the big name around here so we'll see if they have anything Ooh, i thought that was actually really successful i need to come on like a weekday when it's not as busy because the puzzle area was nuts and i felt like i was getting run over and there were so many to look at i only got three again showed restraint i keep saying that but i'm still having like maybe 20 puzzles in the back of the car right now so definitely a great successful day i still have quite a bit of my budget left so next i'm going to go to a few vintage places they're all right next to each other so i'm just going to like do it all in one swoop and then after that i will go to the new puzzle store see if what they got and if i have any budget left maybe i'll get one I was super tired and hungry and so I did not film the haul portion so that's what we're doing right now and there are so many good puzzle finds here and I will say I actually this is with me with the restraint I didn't want to buy too many because I really don't have that much space for them right now I do need to buy like a couple more puzzle shelves but now I'm overflowing <laughs> Uh, I think this was a very successful adventure. There's definitely some puzzle shops or thrift shops that I would definitely go back to. There are some that I probably won't go too often, um, but I am just gonna go organize these a little bit of like where I bought them, and then I'll show you all the puzzles that I got. All right, so let's go into puzzle shop number one. This is the one that was really close to me, and I thought they had a great variety of brands, and they have really fun images. They had a ton of Buffalo games, ton of Seiko, and a ton of Springbok. There was a lot of Springbok puzzles, and I will say that about each place, there was a lot of Springbok, which is interesting because I feel like I very seldom saw them in person when I would thrift down in California. So. That was fun to see because I do like that brand. And what I thought was really cool is I found two vintage puzzles at the first shop from Springbok. The boxes look a little beat up, um, but they are all bagged pieces. That doesn't really mean anything. I'm sure the shop owner just does it, but it is what it is. Hopefully I can have most of the pieces here. And I still have the other Springbok Horses one that I haven't done a video on. So I think I might just add them all together and do one giant video on the Springbok vintage puzzles just to try them out and see if they're worth like seeking out. But let's go into the puzzles. They had quite a few glow in the dark puzzles and I have one already that I would love to do a video on, but this is one that is a glow-in-the-dark puzzle but it's with an image that I wouldn't typically see with a glow-in-the-dark puzzle because the one I have is like Halloween-y and it kind of makes sense. This one is one that is called Peaceful Dawn and it's a bunch of deer. Um, I'll try to put close-ups on the screen so you guys can see the puzzles but I really thought this was a sweet image but the fact that it is a glow-in-the-dark puzzle I'm very curious to see what it looks like in the dark so i think it is super cute from masterpieces i'm not sure if i said that already and i do like the water the trees look like it'll be somewhat tricky but it's only 500 pieces so i'm not too worried about it then we have two springbok puzzles this one here let me see if i can find a year on here i think it was from like 1970 1967 and this one is one of their circular jigsaws i'll put the name of this puzzle on the screen 
but it is pretty much a paperweight. And when I was looking at it, I didn't realize that. When I was thinking, looking at it, I thought it was like the little candies, but it is actually a paperweight. I'm just reading the back of it now. So yeah, it's from 1963, and this looks really fun. I like the colors. It looks really blurry, but I don't know if it's just like the printing on the box and if the puzzle be different. I like on the back that it does give me a little bit of history. Uh, again, all the puzzle pieces are bagged, which is nice, but that could have just been the owner bagging the pieces versus the person who owned the puzzle bagging the pieces. So we'll see if it's missing puzzle pieces or how many puzzle pieces are missing. But I like the colors of that one and I thought it'd be really fun. This one here, I wasn't sure if I was going to get image is cool um this one is called poker party and this one is from 1973 so 10 years difference and this one has an octagon style of puzzle box so i'm excited for this one too um just to do a another version of theirs again pieces are bagged and so i'm excited for these i thought they were great deals they were this one was three dollars and then this one was five dollars so i thought for a vintage spring box i thought that was a good price so i'm excited for these and i'll definitely put them in the same video with the horses one that i already have i just think it was a good deal so i was excited about it moving on to the other local place that was here their pricing was all over the place we had some that were like twelve dollars these ones here were more on the affordable end they're both three dollars a piece and so this one here is from the Great American Puzzle Factory, which I don't think I've ever done before. And this one was a cute image. I got it mostly because I hadn't done the brand before. And the image looks pretty traditional, um, but I thought it'd be really cute. And it's 550 pieces and it's called Mabel Sunny Retreat. And I just liked the puzzle a lot. Oh, on the back, it looks like it was done by four different people. So I wonder if it was like a group that did it or not. Um, but that's really cute. I like the image, super sweet. Again, more traditional, never did the brand before. In this store, actually, they used rubber bands, so it gives me some indication that there's some care when they're at least in the store. Let me see if the bags, they are not bagged pieces. Um, it looks like they used to be bagged pieces, but we'll see. Um, I actually didn't check these puzzles when I was in store, so I'm not, I'm not sure how well my shopping was. Sometimes I'm a little bit more meticulous to see if the bags the pieces are bagged but at least this one had the rubber bands so the boxes stayed together this one here is called feather stars and this one's by suns out which you guys know is like a mixed review for me i like the brand i like this image a lot it's again super sweet and i don't mind buying suns out when it's at a discount or when it's thrifted because it's not that big of an investment um, but this one, it was $3 and I think, did I say it was called Feathered Stars? It, it's cute. It's like these birds on top of a quilt that must be like hanging out. But I liked it. I like the little bit of sky. I like the birds. I feel like this one will be pretty easy. And I feel like I'm still in the mindset of recouping my smaller piece count. And I think this, this hit the mark. I think I'm good at making sure I have enough smaller piece counts for future challenges um but i thought those were a good finds moving on we went to value village aka savers um the same brand and company which is cool because it's something that's familiar and i feel like they do take care of their puzzles at least from the experience i've done in temecula i very seldom had a missing piece which is great um but this one here it's by ravensburger and it's one of their escape puzzles i apparently have this idea of making an escape puzzle video from Ravis and Parker. I have some that are 99 pieces and have one that's 759 pieces and this one's right in the middle so I thought it'd be fun to do a range of different piece counts. I'm excited for this one. It looks like it is difficulty number two and it is called, let's see, and this one is called the Toy Factory which is super cute. I thought the image wasn't super crazy or anything like that and I, again, like that this one had the um, elastic band around all of their puzzles, which, I mean, it gives you something to go by. So this one is called Drive-In by Bits and Pieces, 500 pieces, again, more of a classic style image, but I liked it enough to get it for $3.49. And next we got a pomegranate one, which the box is a little bit beat up, but I got it because I had done another one from the same line of theirs. This one is a Charlie Harper puzzle. 
called the Sierra Range. And I did one recently called, I think it was called Birdcopia or something like that. Uh, but I did it and I loved it. And so I know Charlie Harper is like hit or miss with people. I thought this one was a little bit more on the safe side because it's not too wonky. Some of his images are a little bit too abstract for my liking. But this one I thought was cool because it's like, still illustrated and you can still see what the different things are and it has more variety of color. Sometimes his are very tricky when it comes to patterns. So I think this one would be a lot more doable. And again, I did the other one from his this year and I liked it a lot and it was from the same line of stuff. So I think I'll enjoy this one quite a bit. Then this one here I got because it's, again, give me like the warm fuzzies. It was only $2.49 and I think if it was more than that, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. So I was on the fence about this one, but I liked it because I thought it was sweet. <laughs> um, this is by Springbok and it's called Snoopy's Holiday Greetings. And so it is just like the peanut characters in like a Christmas setting, which it just like gave me the warm fuzzies. And again, if it was more than like $3, I probably wouldn't have gotten it, but the price was right. And so I thought I would have a really good time with this one, like for 500 pieces in the Christmas season, I think I would really enjoy it. So got that one. Next, we went to Goodwill, and they did have a huge range of puzzles, and they had a ton of smaller piece counts. They're pricing, again, all over the place. Like, I feel like there were some Dollar Tree ones that were like three to four dollars, but then they'd have like a Ravensburger like this one, which was $2.99. Um, this one here is a Ravensburger 500 piece. I'm really digging Ravensburger's jumbo pieces. They just are so satisfying when you put them in. What I think is funny about this puzzle in particular is that I bought this puzzle, and then when I went to the new puzzle store, Wishes, where it's like new puzzles to buy, I was actually considering getting this exact puzzle, but it was new. I thought pricing was right. Um, it did have the puzzle box taped, so a little bit of care with the thrifted puzzle. Um, this one is called Cozy Cabana, and I just really like the image. It looks like a nice beach vacation. And I thought I would really enjoy this one. Only 500 pieces. Again, I like the jumbo pieces when it comes to Ravensburger's smaller piece count. They're just super satisfying. I've been doing these a lot during the night. So I've been doing these a lot when I have been hanging out, watching TV. And they're just, I like them a lot. And I felt like for the price, I thought that was a good find. Next, we got another Springbok. And this one, I feel like I've been eyeing this type of image for a while. I don't know if this was a brand I was looking at before, but I do like the image a lot. So it's 500 pieces and it is called Pencil Pushers. And it is a fun gradient rainbow of pencils, but then it has like them oiled slicked on the bottom. It reminds me a lot of the um, Ravensburger Flower, oh, I forget what it's called, Fla Flower Reflections, I think it is, um, where it has like the flowers. And similar thing where it kind of just like melted into a, almost like a water, type of scene, like an oiled slick water scene. I feel like this will be pretty easy and I love the colors a lot. I want to love Aduka so much and I think for the price it was right. I'm not quite sure of the name because they did put some their sticker right on top of it, but it's something about symbols of America. And so that's what it looks like. I really like this one, just like a whole bunch of landmarks and I think it'd be fun. Similar to the National Parks one that I have been eyeing out where it's just, I wanna see which places I've gone to. Um, so this is really fun. I think this is going to be pretty easy for a 1500 piece, but a duker for me, I want to love. I've done a few different of their piece counts. Uh, the biggest thing I have is that I do have false fits. So we'll see how it is for a somewhat larger one. And then we do have just a couple more. This one here is the one puzzle I got at all those vintage shops. It is from the Perfect Picture Puzzle Company. And I did do one of theirs before last year. And I like them. It's fun because it's not made with traditional cardboard. It's made with paperboard, I think it's what it's called. So this one is called Ain't This a Shame. And this one must be a little bit newer than the one that I had, which was from like 1914. This one here, I don't see a year on but it is super cute and it has a colored 
picture on the box. The one that I did was in black and white. And then I did get one puzzle from the new place and I still had leftover budget, which I'm still really proud about. We ended up going out to dinner last night with my leftover budget. Um, but this is from Ravensburger. It's part of their Circle of Colors line, which I have been loving. I do have two others from the same line and I just think they're super fun. This one is just called Flowers. It's just a gradient rainbow of flowers, which I think is super fun. I have done animals and I did, I think, fruits and vegetables. And so this one is flowers. I love this, this range of their puzzles. So I'm excited for this one. And that's it for this video. I feel like it is super long. So I hope you enjoyed it. Love you so much for tuning into this video and I will see you guys in the next one.